Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is this is how we do it, and I'm so excited to be with you one more time. Uh, today, I'm very excited about today's project. We're gonna be actually uh, doing some cylinder stands for my wife and her business. And you know what? When the wife calls, we gotta show up, right, guys? So here we go. Follow me, and we'll make the, this project very fun and very simple and very easy. So follow me. Let's go. So to make these tables for my wife and her business. I went to Home Depot and you can get these either Home Depot or Lowe's. I believe we got these at Lowe's actually. And what's great is that they have different sizes here. Um, so we're gonna start with the bigger size. For this particular project, we're only gonna use two sizes. We're gonna use this big one here. And then we're gonna move on to the uh, other three, which will be the same size. I'll write the description of the sizes underneath in the video, okay? But this is the first step, picking out the right table. These are pretty thick very sturdy. Each one's about an inch here. So uh, you'll have an inch on the top and an inch on the bottom. So keep that in mind when you're doing this project. We do have the cuts ready to go. As you can see here, we have the biggest table, which is gonna be uh, 34 inches. That's gonna be the first cut, 34 inches. Then we have the 28 inches next, right? These are the 28 inches. Then you're gonna cut your third table at 22 inches. And then you're gonna cut your last table at 20 inches. So here we go, we got them all here, ready to go. Four different tables here. We're moving on to the next step. So here we go, guys. If you notice what I'm doing here is I'm taking a, I marked one corner here. And what I did was I took that corner and I lined it up with my fancy tool here. All right, and pop that right there and then just take it all the way to the edge on the other side. Mark that one, which I already did, but I'll show you again. Right, we wanna mark that right there, right on the edge, perfect. And then you just follow that same concept, right? Take that corner, bring it up to the following corner here, mark that one there, and then take this corner and you'll flip it and turn it, right? Turn that side and then mark that corner. So let me show you what that's going to be. All right, look. guys. So if you noticed, all the markings are ready to go. We got one here, right? One, another one right here, another one here, here. Now this one's a little bit different, but I'm going to show you what's going on here. So what's going to happen is when you take your corner here, you're going to align it as far as you can. Make that dot, right? Same measurements all the way around. Same concept. Take this corner here, line it up all right, as far as you can. Boom, you got another one here. And then, if you notice here, if you line this one up, it won't line up to this one, but it'll line up to this one. Mark it there. It's okay, mark it there. And then when you do it from the other side here, and you mark it here, you'll notice that the way where it stretches out is right here, and not this line. So you might say, well, it doesn't match, but it's okay, because listen, you're gonna have a about an inch gap here and if you measured it, uh, you'll see it's an inch gap, right? Let's look at that. It's one inch right there. And that inch is actually where you're gonna put this full piece right here, okay? That covers the whole, I don't know if you can see it, I'm not sure if you can see the angle right there. This is about an inch difference there. Once you do the measurements, you'll have this side, it will have two different points this side will have two different points, that's okay. That's about the inch that you're need, you'll need to put this one right in the middle there. And this is where your poly wall will go nailed into from both sides. You'll see what that looks like in a little bit. I want to remind you that these guys are gonna go right in the middle. Right, right in the middle, right there. Right to the edge, all the way to the edge. Make sure you put it right on the edge real nicely and get those uh, screwed right in there. I'll show you that in a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and drill our two by twos right onto the board. And I've done a couple things, but first let's start off with the uh, type of nails that I'm gonna use. You can use whichever uh, uh, screws you wanna use. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, two by one and a half, right? And uh, you know, these are pretty, pretty, pretty good and pretty sturdy. Again, this is a project for my wife and her business, and she's gonna be moving this around you know, and uh, you gotta build something sturdy, guys. So real quickly, just a quick tip. Here's the uh, corner that we talked about here, right? I would suggest the best way to do this is to pop this here, draw right around it, 
right? Mark it. And then you wanna pre-drill some holes right about here in the middle. And then you'll flip it around. And once you have that hole, it'll be easier for you to drill right in. So let's get to it. Go right through. All right, now you have the marking of where you're gonna put your other side. So we're gonna unscrew it and we're gonna do this for all sides to get those holes in the right uh, spot, okay? So, so right. here we are, here, this is where we're at so far. This is the top part here. I have uh, pre-drilled already in the back. And as you can see, I'm ready to go with my screws and we're getting ready to go ahead and screw these right into the legs okay so stay tuned this makes the process a lot easier always always pre-drill and uh you'll see the results are going to be great okay here we go let's do it let's put it on let's put the legs now, on getting this on can be a little challenging obviously if you have the right table and you have the right tools it's not as hard and as complicated i don't have the table i don't have all these crazy tools that everyone else has but i have this big stand here and i'm going to use this to hold it in place and screw it right on. And luckily it's the same measurement, so I got lucky, guys. So uh, this is probably the hardest part of the whole project, but once you get over this, you'll be okay. So let's look at the ending results, here we go. So here is where we are so far, guys, as you can see, right? We got these in, and I wanna show you something. You wanna bring it as close as you can to the edge. I don't know if you can see that. Right where that round head hits the stick, the two by two you want to get it right in there okay very important so that when you put the wall right around here it's gonna look flush it's gonna look beautiful okay take a look looks wonderful we're about to put the bottom base on here same measurements same steps okay and you'll see it's gonna come out one. Right, guys, I'm getting ready to put the bottom piece right right on there, but I wanna remind you guys, you remember remember, remember guys, that one inch uh, you know, gap that I was telling you about earlier? Well, what you wanna do is you wanna line that up right with the other one that had a one inch gap. I have marked it already, right? That way they both line up together and you'll see everything else. Once you get this one on, everything else will fit nicely, you'll see. You push that in and then everything will fall right, in, right into place, okay? Once again, sorry for the mess. I do do a lot of work here, a lot of woodwork, and my wife, obviously, with her business. There it is, guys. Came out beautifully. It looks amazing. Base is there. So sturdy, guys. Heavy. Not too heavy, but heavy and sturdy. Firm, I should say. And just look at this thing. It's amazing, guys. You can use it for anything here, honestly. You can use it for just a party table. Many people, you know, just put mats over it and have, you know, high standing uh, tables where they can just chat and have a good time. Um, you know, they just put a mat right over it. They just paint these black, they paint them white. And, uh, you know, and, and what's great is when you have that table cover underneath, you can put various things on the bottom. Uh, so people use these for parties. Um, but what, what, what we're using these for is for cake, right? For cake purposes to hold cakes and different things for birthday parties and quinceañeras and all that fun stuff. So there it is, guys. I will continue with the video uh, on what's next. We're gonna wrap this around. But if this is something that you wanna kinda just do by yourself, it's very easy, it was fun. And if you follow my steps, you'll have a good time. All right, guys, there you have it. There's all four of them complete. They look so wonderful, so beautiful, and they're ready to be used. Ready to put your cakes on there, all kind of decorations. And uh, it's super exciting, guys, super exciting. So there's your heights. And it looks great. Doo -doo 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 -doo.